Hey guys, this is Kirob speaking and today we are back in automation and the light campaign V2 in Achana with Vista Automotive and we are still stuck in 1985 as we continue our designs for the early 90s which are all predicated to set new standards in automotive uh, blah blah history um, for the Gazmian market or something like that and we have so far designed the Taurus the Hopper uh, our standard uh, standard car and the dash and the dash was pretty amazing but what is really missing here is the Pico and I think the Pico isn't really the car which needs to be pushed into exactly those markets. But uh, on the other on the other hand, there is I don't think there are new bodies coming, are there? Uh, I don't think there's anything coming until the 90s. So it would be stupid to wait too long. And yeah, maybe we can wait until 1987 or something and get that going and let's take a look at the markets real quick so uh, we had this quite significant uptick a massive bubble in the luxury segment that is but overall I mean this trend has been quite brutal just stagnating down trending down for a long long time and now we are back in an uptrend I think well, apart from what is happening right now, a, a my, let's call it a minor correction. And mm, yes, so what are we going to build? Well, we are going to build a city eco car or city car in general. But first of all, let's check our research. Uh, the chassis thing is almost done, so let's up it. Uh, is this correct? Yeah, let's up it by one. And I mean we have too much money to spend anyway, so let's up this further and maybe this further. That is su super expensive. 100 million a month. Yeah, sounds about right. Uh, at least we won't have to pay any pesky taxes with that amount of, uh, of payment going on. And is there anything else we really, really want? Nah, not for now, I think. It's all good. It's all good. Familiarity is through the roof. And okay, so let's uh, say we are going to wait until 1987 and then build the Pico. So let's fast forward. Oh, well, maybe not fast forward because uh, there are so many productions going, which should be adjusted. I just want to produce as many cars as possible. Um, because of the market uh, supposedly turning up again at some point. Uh, hopefully. Let's see, Gazmir. Oh, no, it's really. <laughs> um, well, we, we are going to sell them eventually, right? Uh, yes. So uh, let's just check our production levels and uh, then continue on. All right, that's it. I uh, just upped all the productions and I want to create a fair amount of stock here. We are dealing with some serious stuff when it comes to factory size. So the upgrade will take a while in some of the cases. And yeah, and just in general, I mean, if we ooh, the economy, um, if we take a look at the general uptrend, then I would estimate that the current correction here will be pretty short and then level out or bounce so that we get a proper bounce instead of just a dead cat bounce uh, let's see how that goes but um, like everything here is set up correctly and now I can just speed through and hope for the best ah yep there we go we're losing a little bit of reputation and prestige just because our cars are getting older and we just lost a, a, a minor amount of money, just three billion. That, that's fine. That's fine. Just uh, look at what stock we're building up. Isn't that pretty? Well, not really, but uh, for the next upturn, it will be perfect. And as soon as Gazmia opens up, we will uh, crush it, I hope. So that's all good. 
Uh, next up, the, to the new Taurus coming online. That's pretty decent. Is it actually... Ah, oh, no, it's uh, this one. Just three months currently of stock, and that's 100,000 of them. <laughs> pretty impressive. Um, R&D still going well. There's lots of time left before we can lower all of these. So um, let's just roll another year. I'm just seeing the wagon is a little bit more of an overproduction case. Uh, maybe we don't want to produce more of these. Just a suggestion. Get more of the others. Yay. And lock this one. And now even those out, maybe? Yeah, something like this. All right, we arrived in 1987. Uh, let's pause here and just check out what's going on. We're almost sold out of the Dash 72. That took a while. And all this is still going on. The Dash 85. Uh, next up is this one, the Taurus 85. But before then, we have to design a new car. So let's take a look at what our R&D is doing. And that is telling me that I should wait another month and then start its uh, design because then we get loads of more tech. And we do have... This looks so scary, 130,000 here and it's just four months. It's a little worse here, but then again, that's also just 10 months. Um, so as soon as... I think as soon as the Gasmian markets are opening up, that, that will be like gone in an instant. We're selling so many of them, and the Gazmian certainly can afford this one. Would be super cheap there. Let's take... Ah, oh, there's the bounce! Yes! Quite a big one. Let's check out the markets. Wow, yes, that's green. And in Gazmir, the light sports segment is coming. That's that's good for the dash. Um, the utility sports segment is coming in for Inia. And... Oh, St. Nachana, but that's 24 cars a month. Uh, it's not, not too impressive. Um, but we are doing pretty well in Achana, obviously, with the awareness. And what does Frenia look like? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's working out nicely. So, yes, just to get this one going another month. And then we have to design our next Pico. Yep, all the years jumped. Even though they are not on six, that doesn't matter. All the years jumped ahead because we are now one month into um, the new year. And let's design a new car. And first check out what kind of um, what kind of cars we have here. Yeah, there's nothing really. I mean, apart from this old body. So I think I think that's what we are going to choose for now. Um, this one is from. Which year? Let's take a, 1980. It was was right there in front of me. 1980. So yeah, this segment doesn't really care about uh, the year that much. We could make it slightly larger. If people want that. I don't know for the Gasmian market maybe. Uh, slightly larger city car, tiny amount. All right, that's perfect. So let's invest all the tech into it. Make it standard, standard, standard front transverse. I think, did we, how much do we fit in there? Was it a 1.1 liter inline three or something? Um, and that was double wishbone even. We have five tech pool here now. Let's go four, we want to make it super cheap really. And a little bit of cooling. And a little bit of mint green. Oh yes, mint green. And front wheel drive and then inline three. Full alloy, because alloy is awesome. Oh, oh yes, we can even put in a 1.2 liter engine if we really want to. Uh, or maybe it doesn't fit. Let's see. Four, we're going with four. Uh, what's the familiarity here? Oh, it's still none. That's too bad, really. But we have so much overlap uh, from the other techs, so we're just going with four valve here. That's uh, better for the emissions and a little city car does want to have decent emissions. So maybe we should start going with the hypertectic cars here too because we are getting in an, into an era where the emissions are more and more important. 
Uh, but I, I really should check out the running costs for once. <laughs> I always always say that and then forget about it. Uh, so we are going with plus four here. And compression down. And maybe a cam of 30. No, VVT? Uh, yeah, fuck it. Why not? Um, lowers emissions too. So that, that's a good thing. Uh, why why doesn't it say that in the tooltip? That's that's stupid. I really need to add that. Oh, but I I don't actually add those. Uh, but Cas should really add these. Um, that's kind of handy to know. So naturally aspirated and injection, uh, multi point of fuel injection, uh, regular. We want to sell those shitty shit boxes in Arcana as well. And what would this one rev to? It's pretty long stroked. So 5.5 five sounds like a decent bet to start out with. And now there's no penalty on these, right? No, no penalty, exactly. So I could go with like plus eight or nine even, just to make it super reliable. And the rest will be standard uh, 80, sounds optimistic. 65 sounds more realistic. And reverse flow. And here we go. Yep, yeah, that's that's about right. And let's up the compression until we are there. That's correct. And do we really want to change anything else? Is my question here to you? And I think the answer is uh, nine. Nine, very much not so. Good sir. This is not necessary. Ah, uh, is all looking good? Yeah, yeah, that was a quick build. Okay, we continue on. And automatic, four shit gears. And, uh, yeah, let them go to 100. It's awesome. We put all the quality in there, because we want to make it schmoosh. Very schmoosh. Uh, medium. Yeah, medium does make sense. 175 is almost a little bit on the wide side. But I think I remember from last time that with these... If this one... I think I need to actually... But well, stagger it a little bit. 165, 175. Uh, put those wheels out, please. Yes, there we go. Steel, super cheap. And... Vented disc, single front, vented disc, this, 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 and probably going to end up with something like this setup. I would guess, I'm not quite sure. This is a lightweight car, so you, yeah. Uh, 51 times 3 would be basically 151. Let's, let's say that's, that's correct math. Uh, two seater, no, four, four seater. And we put basic and none in there. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, interesting. Yes. Yes, yes. Yes. I see. Uh, power steering and anti block braking system. ABBS. And then we have the standard. No. Oh, that hurts. That hurts a little bit. Should we put this one in the advanced 90s? Yeah, let's, yeah, fuck it, let's do that. Um, it reduces our tech pool, but we do have some additional tech pool. I hope it doesn't get on the reliability too much. But now, springs, progressive. This, 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 and... Yeah, it's pretty close, so let's just correct a few things. This is horribly soft. Okay, and this is horribly soft. Okay, that's better. And now you go down, you go up a little bit, and we do want to have this one softer, maybe? Mm, yeah, not really a good setup. But yeah, I, I think this this does work out. We, we don't really want to have a solid front axle either. Um, let's give this a bit more camber. And there we go, uh, maybe even more. Yes, yes, all the drivability. Ooh, ooh, 71.4. That's impressive. Um, what more do we have? So let's check out the markets first. Fun, 
Well, it's it's scoring well in all the city segments, and that's the important thing. And then we're going to put it in a, in a massive factory, and that will certainly work out. Uh, but I wanted to check the detail stats and see the running costs. Total fuel costs, and we do have no emissions here, but in Farinia, let's check this. Um, oh, okay. Yeah, here, here you see that. Um, so we are currently in the lowest emission bracket already without uh, the fancy pistons. So no need to choose those. We are doing just fine because of the super high quality fuel system we're using, I guess. Um, so that's all good. No worries whatsoever. And we are in the lowest car displacement bracket too. So basically this is all perfect. We're just below that limit. Uh, this is actually a really useful screen. I should visit this more often. <laughs> I've forgotten all these stats. Uh, yeah, yeah, they kind of help. Tax multipliers, 67.5%. We are basically telling, uh, having no running costs here. Uh, what does it look like for Gazmir? Well, we are in the tiniest category for the for the brackets uh, for the emissions, and that's all looking good. Yeah, 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 yeah. So there's th this is the perfect setup, isn't it? Ahana doesn't really care. <laughs> Taxes one hundred eighty-five dollars. Nice. Okay, running costs are super low. Uh, yeah, that, that's enough. We don't need to know more about this. This is a great setup to use. But now we need to do a premium version as well. So let me just... Oh, wait a second. We have to first optimize this one. And in general, this wasn't too bad a setup. Oh, we could even go the route of drum brakes. Oh, uh, no, 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 no. It, it is cheaper. $50 cheaper. That's quite significant, actually. It is significant. Uh, can we make it better by just upping this a bit? <laughs> Not significantly, no. Uh, uh, that would be a valid tactic, because that is... Let me calculate that. That is... Uh, 50 bucks on this would be 2%. Around 2%, slightly less, 1.8% uh, or something. So 1.8% less costs. That can be pretty big. That's actually pretty big. And we are losing, what are we losing? We are losing 0.5, but we're gaining, oh. Yeah, look at that. The, the the budget category is just skyrocketing from from this change. They like it better. For, so this is the super budget version anyway, so we don't really care. We build it with drum brakes. And those are pretty well tuned for the lack of um, a brake need in the rear. All right. And what more do we need? Do we have any bottoming out? Or, no, we didn't have that but we can now lower it because we did put on some stiffer springs they weren't quite as wobbly anymore there we have the bottoming out going on and let's see what more what more mm, nothing here nothing there naming okay naming all right we named it all and now let's make a premium version and in said premium version, we can just make sure that people are liking it better, uh, like like this. And we can even put some more brake in front, because now we're going to make it heavy. And all the premium equipment, premium, and... Oh, this one doesn't have any penalty anymore. So, ooh, cost me a little bit of uh, drivability there, though. Um, and this one, of course, has shifted, but that's good news. Yeah, yeah, that was that was decent enough. That's a sweet spot right there, and no bottoming out still. Oh, let's check. Ooh, ooh, okay. Do they want to have even more break? Yes, they do. Cool thing. Oh, now let's check out this thing stats. Oh, did we? Did I? Did I put? Yes, I did put the vented discs on. Then we are going to engineer both, 
And oh, look at this. They are really liking it in the city premium category. It's such a premium vehicle. But now let's check in Frenia and there they are like, yeah, it's not really that premium. And then in Gasmia, they're like, what the fuck is a city car? All right, I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy. This is all working out just fine. Do we have anyone here? Nah. Okay. Um, three years, four months. Yeah, I guess. Uh, four years we are aiming for. Sounds good to me. And how much? 200 million only. That's that's very little. And we make this super reliable. Four years. There we go. 73 and 75 for the base. Whew, that's impressive. And we have the Pico here. And it's going to be built in a large factory. Uh, don't forget the market won't be like exploding with the opening of Gasmir because the Gasmians hate city cars. So for this one, I think it's still fine to go with the uh, the large free factory. And we have the Telvik C and Telvik E, and the automation levels are just about right. Uh, build costs, wow, kind of expensive though. Very efficient, very, very efficient. Um, no, it's not really expensive, pretty cheap. So yeah, I'm, I'm happy with this. Uh, more of the base, I, I guess, premium, not so much. And let's start out with 2.5 shifts as the, our base point. How much can we pull this up? All the way to 3 if we wanted to. Uh, that's, that's decent enough. Uh, 1.9 only, yeah, that's that's cool. And yeah, yeah, we probably want to have this at plus 40 and the base, uh, let's, let's see, the base at plus 30? Yep, <laughs> in the city budget category, it's still scoring really well there. And all the budget categories, it's super cheap car. Oh, it's so cheap, so cheap. And yes. Ah, oh, this is looking good. Let's continue on. And this is just a billion. Oh, that's dirt cheap. Uh, so, sign off and smile. So, this one is now in engineering. And I think what we are going to do is just uh, forward and see how stuff works out. Wow, the VA79 has gone really into nothingness here. Uh, so much production going on. But we have 347,000 cars standing around. Ooh, that, that is a lot. I think that's a lot. How much longer until this one goes into... Yeah, that's it's still a, some ways off. And don't forget the markets at the start will be tiny in Gasmia because <laughs> there's no awareness. So that might be a little bit of a... Uh, of a problem. Uh, anyway, we can just continue on here for a bit. So let's, let's time accelerate for another year. Oh no, not another year. We have to check these out. At least that is getting cheaper now. And there we go. Yes, yes, yes. This, this, and this. And so they are all good. And this one still needs a month. Yeah. And uh, hmm. so what are we going to do? Well. Let, let's say we're continuing to increase uh, our automatics. Yeah, automatics are awesome. And maybe the safety? Because Gasmians as well as um, Freunians do like their safety. Oh, something happened here. Let's see. Uh, I think... this one. Ah, the dash. The dash finally sold out, didn't it? Yes. It's gone. So let's sell the rest for scrap. Oh, all the engines. Yes, go away. Oh, okay, the Taurus. I think the Taurus has a new factory, isn't it? Um, what is it? Can't remember. It's so long ago. Uh, how much profits are we making per month? Oh, this one is, is, isn't doing too badly. We just started selling massive amounts of it. Uh, is the economy ticking up? Yes, it is. Markets. Wow! Wow, okay. Yeah, the markets are growing. I see. That's working out. <laughs> Just look at our sales. <laughs> it's impressive. 40,000 score. That's also impressive. 
And we lost another little bit of reputation and prestige, but nothing to worry about really. Profits, losses, uh, just minus 200 million. Even though we have a half a million cars standing in the parking lot. Ah, make that 600,000, uh, maybe a little bit more. Pause. Oh yes, yeah, that, uh, there are plenty of cars standing around. Now we have too many base versions, that's not, that's not good. We want to sell the, uh, the one which gives more money. Now, uh, let's go back to something like this. Wow, they really want to have lots of premiums, supposedly. And they are just selling stupid amounts of dashes. Or was this still a small factory? Like the medium factory? I think it was. Uh, that would explain, yeah, it's, it's not ma that many cars. Just like 10,000 a month. And maybe a large one? No. Uh, but this VA car is kind of worrying. Uh, I think we need to build more premiums and less of the other shit. Uh, let's build more premiums. And the Taurus is still doing well, although um, we can't really keep up with production considering what is coming. Oh, mm, maybe produce even more of these. Oh, I'm just spotting the Taurus dropped away. So it sold out and then the production was cancelled because of this one. Uh, so soon enough this will go into production and hopefully k make a killing uh, and be much better than the old one. And we lost another billion almost. So we pause here, but very soon the production of this one will start and we still have... Uh, wow, we are not keeping up with production of the Pico even. That uh, is kind of worrying. What is the market doing? Still growing? No. Okay, there's a correction coming, as we can see here. Economy is... Yes, the economy is currently... What? Oh, that was the commercial segment. Yes, so it's slowing down. So we are peaking right now. But that's pretty impressive. It's almost off the charts for the luxury market. And the normal market is, like, like I said, from this massive stagnation now turning up like crazy. And... I don't know if we can keep up with production then. But at least we have a few cars left in the parking lot. Uh, the wagon is not faring too well though, so we should produce more of that one, if possible. Oh, the Taurus is in production. How is it doing? What? Okay, the base L does need more. This isn't even in Gazmia yet, and we are selling out already. Uh, let's amp up the production like crazy. Yeah, just, just go nuts, I guess. And the base U, uh, yeah, let's let's do it like this. Um, I think we can up the price. Because this is selling so well. And I don't see why not. Um, 30,000 cars a month, maybe? Sounds good to you? Yeah. Oh yes, now we're getting a nice stack of cars sitting here much better and we're slowly going bankrupt um, but Gesmia is opening very soon and I do like to have some cars to sell there uh, oh the VA is also in need of sales and let's see what our R&D is doing oh shit too much R&D okay drop this don't waste too much money all right this is the big thing coming up we do have plenty of cars sitting here still, and the production is now cancelled. But we can open this one up now to Gazmir. So let's revise this and click it into Gazmir. We do want to sell all these cars there to open up the market a little bit. And we still have plenty, so that's good. Uh, the Dash, yeah, maybe sell that one too into the Gazmir market. Doesn't hurt. Like this. And we want to sell the Pico. Well, nothing is left of the Pico. Once it arrives in Gazmir, there's, there's really nothing left. Even though we could sell almost um, a third of the production there, it seems. But this one will certainly sell pretty well in Gazmir. 
and will make way for a new mark. Wow! Huh. Yeah, that's a lot. That is a lot. Ahana really loves them though. So the big thing coming up. Three cars going into production. VA85. Uh, once this one is done. And the new dash and the hopper of course. Uh, let's see how this all goes and then we wrap up this episode. So production is starting. There we go. We made it before we go bankrupt. And that's that's the first month of production. We do have a few more points. Oh, they are not even selling in in Gasmia yet. Uh, let's. Oh shit! We have a few problems, and the problems are that this production will never be enough for Gasmia. Just look at it. We're selling everything already there. Uh, dash 85. Ah, yeah. I think we need to upgrade the factory in the next run. And so let's revise it, crank it up as far as possible and try to sell to Gazmia as well. We can always go for somewhat higher pricing. Oh yes, and three shifts. That That's looking much better. Uh, now I forgot to <laughs> change to Gazmia. But yeah, the Gazmians will love it. They will love it. First we have to create the market though, but mm, yeah. Oh, did you see that? LS Premium. We can sell 80% of all our production there for, for this one. Uh, yes. And now that one? Um, I don't quite know. We are still selling the old one, obviously. Oh, shit. The hopper. The hopper is really selling. Look at this. It's crazy. Could sell... Oh, okay, now maybe the premium is now a little bit too much. And yes, well, the, ba the base version doesn't have to be that expensive, does it? Um, we want to push into some other markets there, so maybe, maybe like this. Oof. Okay. Hopper, what's what about the Taurus? Uh, can we amp up the cost for this one? Just to make sure that we... Oh, yeah, let's, let's go like, like this, maybe. And lower this one and see how it goes. So now how many profits are we making this month? Oh yeah, by the way, you can count profits very much. It's one profit, two profit, three profit, right? So now we are selling in Gasmia just a little bit. Uh, we do have a bit too many Tauruses standing around, but no, it's not, not a problem. Not really a problem. We sold all 313 cars of the Pico 80 in Casimir. The V8 Dash is doing uh, pretty poorly. Um, but that's the old one. Why is that? Oh, he's double producing now? Uh, the Taurus. Dash. Oh, yeah, we're double producing. Ah, shit. Okay, let's uh, cancel this production then because that is a bit too much. And I think we might want to lower pricing a little bit. Just to get rid of these. I totally forgot that we had those. And they were still in production. We have been going with a larger factory, it seems. Because they certainly didn't replace them. But we saw... What? What? That's a lot of cars. So many cars. Wow. Uh, sales in... Gasmia. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> Have you ever seen such a thing? This is green. That's our sales in Gasmia. We are basically maximized in every single market. Apart from like the super fancy ones over here. Uh, so yeah, we are doing pretty well. I'm happy with this. Let's uh, forward another month. See how things are going. 50,000 score, 51,000. Wow, we are gaining more than 500 points of score each month now. And, <laughs> well, we have minus 1.6 billion in profit so far with the Taurus 85. But we are starting to conquer the market here. Let's take a look at the awareness. Oh, shit, yes. It will be a massive, massive market once we have it. So, uh, yeah, I'm kind of happy with this. Anyway, um, 
just continue producing. It, it will get there eventually. Yes, look at this. The correction is very, very minor. Oh, but Frenia is turning over and trying to die here a little bit. Okay, let's advance to 1991. Uh, and then we are done here. Because this is just too much to take for my little little head. It's so big and the numbers are too big. Uh, the sales are too high, apart from the Taurus, which still needs market. And, well, these cancelled. Oh, no, we are selling really well in the VA79. That isn't too bad. And we are selling out everything for the VA85. And here we go. Oh, shit, that was a lot of profits here. Six billion. Oh, fuck. Yes, lots of taxes, almost a billion. So we pause here and save the game and uh, I think we are done here now so <laughs> I hope you enjoyed and see you guys next time